Well, hi guys. It's Saturday, February the 22nd. It's about eh, 50 degrees or close to it. Uh, I just had this thing out, did a little work with it, pulled some wagons out of the field for Jacob. And today's project is to put the remotes on this side so I can use, you know, dual remotes, which entails taking this plug out and this plug up here, putting a nipple and elbow to get it out going down. They're going to go under the axle around and back here to another bracket like this and a basic setup like this. So let me get a few things and we'll get into it. So hang on guys, we'll be right back. Well, I've hit my first hitch in my giddy up here. Uh, that plug will not budge, nor will the one up here. So I'll bet I gotta get, the tor get this moved where I can get the torch to it and heat the cast up right here to break this loose. That's what I'm thinking. Really don't want to do that, but don't have much choice. So hang on, we'll be back in a few minutes when I figure this out. Hang on guys. Okay guys, with the help of the torch, I had to heat around these plugs in order to get them to break loose. I hate heating on castings, but these were in there <laughs> to a point of, oh good lord, whose idea was this? So, I'm going to have to let that cool down a bit before I try to do anything, so We'll be back here in a minute. I may start putting the hoses together over there. So hang on, we'll be right back. Well, after a lot of rigmarole and fighting, uh, I'm not happy with this. Uh, I do not like that being that close. These are not completely tight yet, but they're snugged up enough to where I got a little movement, but not much. These are tight against each other, but I'm not particularly liking this setup. Um, I may have to shorten this, drill another hole in it because this hose has got flex to it. This one is pretty daggone hmm. I don't know. I'm not happy with it. I've done these several of these the same way but for whatever reason I'm not liking this at all so might be taking this back apart I don't know just at the moment I may have to switch this end to here and this end to there I don't I like this because it was swivel it makes it easier to hook up this and you can tighten these without any problem. But I'm not liking the way this is running at all. Uh, may have to take this one back out and put it over the top. I don't know, but I really don't like the way it's there. So, um, 
I'm going to finish snugging everything up. Uh, I've got to tighten these here, which that's no big deal, but it's kind of right now, I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like the way it's sitting in there at all. Um, I've always done these and they've always come out like this, loose. But for whatever reason, this one this time is not wanting to work that way. So, I'm going to have to do some investigating, I guess. Um, this bracket I bought years ago in a box of junk parts and had it sitting in there and I knew what it was for. So I've got factory bracket to go you know, like that one is. But it's just at the moment I'm not liking this setup for some reason. That's the first time in a long, long time that I had to take a torch and heat these up to get a plug out of them. Uh, yeah, that, whew, them are unbelievably tight. But I'm going to have to look into this again. Um, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this a bit. So we'll we'll leave it here, guys. Um, if I go to change this, uh, you'll see video of it. What I changed because this hose is this one. This hose up here is this one. And I don't like the way that's sitting at all. Um, now, I'll figure something out. I'm either going to have to shorten this, drill a new, another hole in it to give it some slack to where it can move back a little bit more. Because right now, there's heard nothing in that so let me see what I can come up with and we'll see you next time guys and as always please comment rate and subscribe like I've said I don't want a mess like this um, this hose right here being twisted around itself in a tight loop like that, you might as well add 10 feet to the hydraulic hose. And see where it's been rubbing right there. So uh, that'll get changed. Uh, it'll be done the same way. They'll come out, go down, loop around the axle and come back. Um, I wanted to stay short here on this side because you've got this adjustment here. You need to be able to get in there for that. And I don't like hydraulic ends with big pipes sticking out like that is. I don't like that at all. Uh, that one could have come out and gone can been routed another way for sure but we'll I'll cross that river when I get to it uh, right now I'm worried about this side uh, when I get more hoses and ends I'll change that that side to the same same pioneer ends and same kind of deal here uh, I'm just not really digging this at all. And it should should have fit better than it is. But for some reason it ain't. 
so we're going to get out of here guys so as always please comment rate and subscribe who knows i may be putting taking the whole thing off starting over and you know because i don't like what i see we'll see you next time guys and as always please comment rate and subscribe the uh work continues on the 1850 and if i change this you'll see it so we'll see you next time well hi guys it's sunday the 23rd of february uh did some little more work today on bracket kind of bent it down a little bit and it fits a lot nicer the hoses have more give to them they're more relaxed i still may change this stuff here i'm not happy with it the way it is so i may just go ahead and change that um to my liking and then maybe reroute this hose over it really depends on what it looks like coming apart um, as far as this side goes it's kind of a on hold at the moment because uh, gotta wait till they got some more hoses in I wanted four they had two I wanted four ends they had two so Go figure. But I've got another bracket just like that one to hook them to the ends to go over here. Um, the center link, which is sitting right here, uh, was loose and then it stuck. I had to take a torch and heat this upper end up yesterday and I got it all loosened up now it's ready to go back on the tractor <coughs> uh, took these pins out and greased all this both sides I wanted to try to take these out but this one's froze it won't budge so <laughs> that may have to be like it is um, both sides needs another grease zerk put in it. This doesn't have any that broke out. So, gotta get some. Oh, my little buddy came over. Our little buddy Laz. What are you doing, Laz? Hmm? What are you doing over here? You're supposed to be a house cat. Not a barn cat. And you don't need in the barn because there's things in there that'll get you. Like mouse traps and such. Oh, lovely. Something else I gotta fix. <sighs> but, any rate, back to this. The, uh, yeah, I'm going to change those fittings. I don't like the way that is. Doesn't meet my personal preferences. I've hooked them up before just like that, and it worked great. But there's something different about this one. I don't know what, but something, and it, and it just ain't working right for some reason. So when I do these, they'll be probably leave the same hoses or the same fittings here and just turn them back this way so they go under the axle come back like these are and they're more relaxed and everything works better uh, this mess you can see you got a hose coming out going down hard twist and it runs over itself and you can see right there where it's been rubbing here on the hose and there's a 
spot in it. And then you get a kink here, which I don't like. I like them relaxed like this side is. But I'll worry about that later. Uh, got some wet weather moving in, so got to move this thing back and put the tarp back on it. Oh yeah, I fooled around for about an hour getting this seat to move again. It was all just about all the way down. And it's pretty much why it was so uncomfortable pushing the clutch. <laughs> so that's fixed now. Uh, right now I'm looking at a seat for this. Uh, we've got a new muffler. The old one's back on for now. Um, and I'm just getting ready for wet weather to arrive. But uh, I, it may be Sunday, but I am getting things done. Um, have something planned for this now. I found a piece of Lexan that is tinted. 69 or 70 inches long which I can cut three pieces out of that clean it up and we'll put it in this cab for two side windows and a back window now the pieces remaining will be two panels here and I'll leave the front of it open uh, with this opening up as far as it does, it won't be hard to get some air through the cab. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but before I put it on, I've got to take the roof off and replace it. Uh, I don't want to... I want to replace the tin, but I don't want to replace these sides. Um, mainly because of everything that's written in there. And I want to keep that with the tractor. Um, everything, you know, <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff written here. And I just, I, I, that's kind of neat to this tractor. And I'd like to... Sorry about that. Battery's died. Yeah, that's kind of unique for this tractor. A uh, little hist... It's history, so I'd like to keep it. Um, may sound silly to most people, but I think that's kind of cool. It's not every day you can look into something and see what its history's been. Uh, Change oil, filter and oil, 4, 5, and 66. It just, you know, there just needs stuff in there that you'll lose. And I really don't want to do that. Uh, I'm hoping I can separate the roof from these side pieces. Uh, if I can't, uh, uh, it'll suck, but we'll cross that bridge when we'll get to it. But, I have slightly tinted windows and some LED lights put on it and a few other things I, if I so desire. I'm making plans, I'll put it that way. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to fire this thing up and get her back over there and park it for now. Um, yeah, it's a nice day. It's 50, 52 degrees, something like that. So, get something done anyway. Uh, I've got another project in the back of the truck to work on tomorrow maybe 
It's, uh, well, the wood stove out of my house. It has a problem, a rather big problem. And I'm going to have to address somehow. It, uh, that top is warped and there's a split in it back there. So I gotta figure out how to fix it and weld it up. Like I said, that is a small stove and you can kind of see the reason I cut wood short. That's all it'll fit in it. And it's about not much more in your hand with, so nine inches. But that's tomorrow's worry. But for now, I'm digging this dry weather and warm sunny day, so I'll get a few things done. But anyway, right, guys, uh, I'm going to get off here, put this thing up, put the tarp on it, and call it a day. So we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.